Hi, I'm Susan Friedman with Sienna, and I'm here with Steve Alexander, who is Chief Technology Officer at Sienna. So Steve, you just gave a keynote at MEF. Can you tell me about the keynote? So, sure, Susan, I talked about orchestration at scale. And orchestration is basically how you're going to be controlling all the physical and virtual network elements in the future, what people typically call virtual network functions, but as well as all the things that the network can talk to or touch. And so the scale of these things can get very, very large. It's very easy to get scale that's in the, the millions to tens of millions of things that you want to be able to orchestrate. So what is orchestration exactly? So orchestration is very much like what you would describe a, a symphony orchestra, what the conductor does, right? You know, in an orchestra like that, every instrument, they're built differently, you play them differently, they sound differently, but when you orchestrate them together, you get the music that you're after. And that's effectively what has to happen in a network also, right? The way you talk to different types of network elements and the way you talk to things that the network talks to itself, you want that to create the service or the user experience that's desirable. That's what orchestration does. Well, openness is a big theme here at the show. Can you tell me about uh, Sienna's view on openness? Right, oh, so openness is key, right? We believe that openness allows our customers to have choice. We think choice in terms of the kind of equipment that they deploy, how they operate it, what they interface it with, the kind of tools and platforms they have, is really critical to enabling them to meet their business objectives. And, and choice, tell me a little bit more about choice and what value choice brings for, to a service provider. So choice gives them a different number of different things. It gives them a choice in terms of how quickly they can transition. The entire industry is transitioning from a world where the network's operated under a model where you would provision a service and you would monitor it. And we're all moving to a world where services are much more real time. They're orchestrated and controlled in real time. But not everybody wants to make that transition quickly. So you want to give them choice in how quickly they make that transition. You want to have choice in how they actually build the network of the future the kind of equipment they use, the kind of software they can use, whether it's proprietary, whether it's open source, how they operate it, you want to give them choice in all those areas. So in this new world of virtualized functions, can you just tell me what, what is a virtualized function? So a virtualized function is the same end experience that you have from a physical device. A great way to think about it is when you take your smartphone and you put a application on it that turns it into a stopwatch, that's a virtual stopwatch. Right? You didn't go to the store and buy a stopwatch. You dropped the application onto a device and turned it into a stopwatch. That exact same thing can happen in the network. You take a network element, put some software on it, and then it turns into a different function. It could turn into an encryptor, could turn into a load balancer, it could turn into a firewall, it could turn into an address translator. It's the ability to take a physical piece of hardware, put software on it, and change the value of that piece of equipment. And how does that fit into the announcement that Sienna made this week on distributed NFV? Well, so distributed NFV is the software suite and the services that go along with it that will enable carriers to start to make this transition. We believe it's going to start out at the edge. We've created a new type of network uh, element, 3906 MVI, and it is that combination of connect, compute, and store. It can run the virtual network functions, and it has the distributed DNF capability that the carriers want to see to actually operate it. So the transformation to virtualization is happening now. The transformation is definitely happening. Great. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome.